They're not taking salaries, but the richest people in the world, America's tech oligarchs, are effectively working for the Joe Biden for President campaign. They're doing their part by censoring anything that counters the official line, anything that might hurt Biden. And that's why YouTube, Google, censored a lecture on the topic of policing by Heather McDonald. Here's a clip of what they censored. The idea that the police are wantonly killing black men is a creation of a politicized press and an elite establishment dedicated to the idea that racism is America's defining trait. They fear Heather McDonald because Heather McDonald knows the numbers because she wrote a terrific book on it called The War on Cops. We're happy to have her on tonight. Heather, tell us how you were censored and why you think you were censored, if you would. Heather, I'm not, I don't know if Heather McDonald can hear us. Heather, can you hear? Oh, you can. Great. So tell us how you were censored by Google and why you think they censored you. Well, Tucker, in 1860, Frederick Douglass said that free speech was the dread of tyrants. It was the right which they first of all strike down. And facts are the dread of our, our Silicon Valley oligarchs, facts which disprove their favored narrative that uh, America is endemically racist. I gave a speech last week on policing that used federal data, the gold standard, to disprove the lie that police are engaged in wanton racist violence against black men, as Joe Biden and the writers maintain. No sooner had I finished the speech than Google wiped it off the web on the ground that it violated its community guidelines for keeping YouTube a safe space for all. My host, the Center of the American Experiment, appealed the decision. Uh, YouTube grudgingly put it back on, but with age restrictions, meaning that your child can't watch the speech unless you sneak them in behind you. Now, here's what your child can watch, Tucker, in the privacy of his bedroom. A porn star giving a lap dance, a nubile naked young women spooning with an equally naked young man, an ar anarcho-communist praising the destruction of a Min Minneapolis police precinct as the high point of the rioting to date, uh, and tips on how to become an Antifa warrior. Now, those videos do contain salacious content and arguably do incite violence, unlike my speech, which condemned violence, and especially the violence that has taken hundreds of black lives since the rioting began. So what's the problem with it? The only thing I can conclude, Tucker, is that it gives young people facts that will allow them not to become an anti-fa warrior and not to join in the destruction of the civilized order, which is tearing this country apart. So your children can watch pornography, but they're not allowed to watch a scholar read federal crime statistics out loud. And nobody is doing anything about, nobody is standing up to protect our right to tell the truth and to even read facts. Has anyone stood up for you, by the way? Just wondering. Has anybody, what? Stood up for you. Has anyone in power I don't no, know, sent a not... threatening letter to Google saying we're not going to put up with this in this country, this formerly free country. Well, again, the Center for the American Experiment has appealed, but and they're appealing the age restrictions, but I don't know. Obviously, there's a revolt going on. What we know is that, that big tech companies are filled with leftists that can't stand this, the facts. Yeah, they also operate at the mercy of the federal government, which has done nothing. And, they, and it's really, in the autopsy this moment, I, I hope that blame is assigned. Heather McDonald, great to see you. Thank you so much.